Hello, today's topic is mantis shrimp. It's a very small animal living in a tropical and subtropical waters. And this is a mantis shrimp. So it has two features which we are going to discuss. So number one is the fastest attacking machinery. weapons and excellent uh, viewing so excellent viewing and fastest uh, attacking uh, system it make it a uh, very high speed attacking predator because it's living in a subtropical and tropical uh, waters so there are animals which are living in hard shells so it's uh, difficult to get uh, uh, its uh, food so it has to have to do have a some kind of weaponry to sh to uh, tear apart these uh, hard shells so for this one, it is evolutionary or uh, it has developed this kind of uh, attacking uh, weapons. So the f its length is uh, length varies from 10 centimeters to 40 centimeter. Uh, zebra shrimp to uh, other one is a purple spot sh sh shrimp. The important feature is the speed with which it attacks. The speed is varies from uh, uh, 2.3 meter per second to 31 meter per second. 31 meter per second means it has a speed 100 meet, 110 kilometer per hour. So this speed so in, uh, within this one, there is a feature which is a how it changes from zero to this uh, speed. Speed. So from zero to this speed is uh, it is acceleration. This acceleration is uh, about hundred and forty or hundred and fifty thousand meter per second square so this is enormous acceleration very high acceleration uh, uh, it hit his arm it hit his, his arm open his arm and attack on the on the other uh, prey with the high acceleration so small mass of the arm multiplied by its high acceleration will create a very high force which is 100 and 1600 Newton 1600 Newton it is uh, that means it is equivalent to two persons each uh, having a mass of uh, 80 kilogram so 80 kilogram plus 80 kilogram 160 160 multiplied by G value which is a 10 meter per second square so it is 1600 uh, newton so uh, it's uh, it is such a high force that this small arm uh, has the uh, equal force equal to the weight of a two person on the surface of earth so uh, this attacking uh, is because of the two kind of muscles so it has a uh, two muscles so that uh, this muscle this uh, uh, they are so it has a strong flexible claws uh,
So, and because of this, uh, 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 is uh, muscles. So muscles actually two kind of uh, uh, spring which are attached to each other. So this is a so uh, it's like a two springs. So because of two springs, they are very fast. The next thing is uh, to discuss this one that uh, when it attacks on uh, its uh, prey, four event happens in time. So this is the time and this is uh, the force impact, the force. So equal time. So four impact, four event happen. One, two, three, and four. First thing is uh, it attacks on the prey. So this is a prey and it attack on the prey. So when it attack on the prey, so there are uh, bubble uh, happens and then is a flash of light. So then light that is a impact and then last one is also impact. First one it it attacks on the on the animal prey. So it attack on a on a prey because of the is attack. So water is dispersed. Is a kind of vacuum created. Vacuum or low pressure. When low pressure is created, so when the low pressure is created, so first water goes away. Then afterward, water comes back. With the force such that this water which come back, so suppose this water jets are there. So water jet with a very high speed is like a bullets when they converge. So what will happen when these all bullets are converged? So there will be heat. As a result of heat, there will be a bubble will be formed. When bubble will be formed, then again, the forces will of the water will try to collapse it. When they collapse this one, this uh, bubble, the bubble collapses. When it collapses, and then uh, there is a light is produced. When the light is produced first, and afterward, a light and sound is produced. And sound is produced with ultrasonic uh, speed, or rather sonic, supersonic speed. So this one is uh, such a large uh, audio frequency. So each wave, it produces shock wave. And when the shock wave, so this uh, have a very high impact on the prey. And this is number four event. So this uh, impact happened with enormous force and the shell of the, uh, this animal is broken. So we have explained this one. This is a four kind of events. So I briefly explain again the impact, first impact, 
and on the impray because in the water water is dispersed it create a vacuum or low pressure when there's a low pressure is produced the water comes in the water comes in a different directions in a in a circle in a sphere kind of thing and is water jets converge together and when they converge together they are uh, they create a very high temperature that temperature is is in excess of uh, uh, 20000 degrees celsius 20000 degrees celsius temperature is produced when temperature is produced water is boiled so water is boiled so it become vapor vaporized when vapor water is vaporized it produces a bubble when bubble is produced bubble expands to some extent but soon other uh, uh, pressure from the surrounding water collapse this bubble and this collapse happens so fast that uh, it collapses and the light is produced when light is produced and also uh, a, a supersonic uh, uh, sound is produced the sound produces shock waves and the shock wave waves uh, uh, reach to the boundary of the shell of the prey and they uh, destroy it and uh, uh, impacts is so high the shell cavity of the prey is uh, broken and uh, and that uh, mintus shrimp uh, can have access to inside the uh, body of the prey who is hiding inside the shell and can eat it so this is attacking so number two is uh, is uh, uh, is vn of uh, mantis shrimp so if you look at this one so uh, uh, human had three uh, light detectors or cones in in their eyes and retina so this is rbg red blue green And similarly, in the animal like a deer, they have only two. Blue and green. So, orange, red is missing. That means they cannot see uh, uh, cheetah uh, the orange color so number three dog is similar dog have a two uh, color detectors birds have four so three plus one one is UV three RBG mantis shrimp have 16 
so that mean rbg so this is a spectrum of rbg so blue green and red on this side so this is 400 nanometer this is 700 nanometer so this is visible light so they go this side as well and go this side as well so they have a um, this spectrum on the lower spectrum lower end and higher end visibility so but this one they can have uh, if they can detect in the lower end UV light and also in infrared light. But the problem is that there is only one problem, they can not differentiate the resolution, so it's called a resolution that means detecting bit, uh, the four if it is 400 and 420 and 440 they will detect this one they will detect this one they will not be able to detect this one so this means this is the resolution is not good so no not good resolution but human have very good resolution so they can detect the color variation of a four five nanometer so from 400 to 700 so each five nanometer have a color which a human eye can detect So, uh, so mantis shrimp can uh, see polarized light as well as so polarized light can be uh, can see this one uh, while we have a difficulty in uh, viewing the polarized light so uh, I will give you another uh, view, a video of uh, the polarized and unpolarized light. So, what is the polarized and unpolarized light? So that uh, this is uh, so light travel in it uh, two ways. So, like this one, and also if this one, and also on this this one. So, so. So when it is uh, only one direction, so this is called polarized. So other uh, side is uh, taken off. So mental stream can see polarized light while we cannot see this one. You cannot differentiate between polarized and polarized light. So this is inability of the uh, human eye uh, to compare to the other one. Uh, honey bee can see the polarized light, so this polarized light can act as a landing, uh, guiding as a landing and to the flowers. So honey bee, when they come this one and they see the polarized light and then they land on the sea. So for polarized light, so they can. Uh, fine-tune their attacking position and by this one they can attack on the precise point where they have to attack on this one so that the damage should be maximum 
So now we have discussed this one that uh, 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 mantis shrimp is an excellent attacking machinery, attack, attack power, and excellent. Uh, uh, viewing uh, mich uh, viewing curve eyes and there are two independent independent eyes and they have a, a very high degree of uh, uh, movement so they can move to different angle so as you can see this one so these are two independent and they can move uh, nearly 270 degree rotation so they can move and also there's an important thing that they can process the information very quickly before they're going to the brain so this information and this is a brain they can take action before the uh, signal goes to the brain and then is processed uh, this is very important and that has to be looked at it why it is happening and how it can be used in the early detection of cancer so this is the uh, mantis shrimp mantis shrimp is very good uh, in attacking fast attacking and very heavy damage is can cause on the prey and number two it has an excellent view in eyes and it can have can detect the uh, light which we cannot detect uh, from the lower end of uh, blue lower than blue which is a uv light and uh, higher than this one which is infrared and, uh, light so they can detect them, but they have a lower resolution. They cannot, if there are three colors, three colors, uh, they cannot detect in between one. They can detect this one and the next one and the next one in between this one. They cannot detect this one. So this is uh, the problem. Uh, but in order to detect this one, they have a, a ability to see the polarized light as well. So by polarized light they can have they extend their uh, viewing and they can approach to the prey and locate the position and make their position at this at the, at the point where they can attack and can have a maximum damage so that is uh, mantis shrimp uh, mantis shrimp is uh, uh, very dangerous sometimes so it is very small, 10 centimeter to 40 centimeter in, in length and have a very high impact on the prey.